Oh my gosh, I just came home and there is a box on my doorstep. Let's go see what we got. Woo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's open this puppy up. I have to go to work. I'm gonna have to do it later. Yikes. All right, forget it. I can't wait. <laughs> we gotta just do this right now because uh, I gotta get my hand on this thing. Let me just say that Sean McVeigh is the man. Go check out Sean's Outdoor Adventures. That guy rocks. Um, this is a gift, a gift from Sean McVeigh. I mean, I don't know how he does it. He's an amazing guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, you may have heard on Sean's channel, I ran my bow over like a year and a half ago or so over the winter. I mean, I ran right over the thing. I backed over it, cracked off the quiver, cracked off the sight. The bow actually still worked amazingly. Uh, the PSE bow madness. But I have had some mechanical issues since then. So, Sean, out of the goodness of his heart, sent over. Oh my gosh. An APA Mamba. That's how you have to say Mamba. Mamba. It's just a lot more fun that way. Oh my gosh. You see, there's a sight in here too. He's crazy. Sean, you're crazy. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. This is sick. Sick. This has the handle. It's got all sorts of little gadgets in here. I'm gonna have to play with the uh, broadhead sharpener. I could see using this as a knife sharpener in the field. That would be really handy. Uh, you know, when uh, field dressing a deer. It's got the little hook so you can hang it up easier. Really cool. I've never had a double cam bow. Uh, my other bow, which I've had for like, I don't know, almost 10 years now probably, is a single cam. This one's going to be a lot faster. I have to get a couple accessories, um, stabilizer bar and a uh, rest. I have to put a D-loop on there. But man, it's awesome. This thing is sick. It's totally sick. Feels nice in the hand. It's a nice grip, thin grip, which I like. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to fire off some arrows. I, I want to just pull it back right now so bad, but I know I shouldn't. Don't do it. Don't do it. But, um, man, you, know, you never pull it back without an arrow on there. But, wow, I want to just do it. Ah, uh, so cool. Sean, you're the man. Thanks a lot. Um, you know, I can't thank you enough. It's, what could I say? Guys, go check out Sean's Outdoor Adventures. I will post some more videos as I decorate this thing with some accessories and uh, man can't wait to fire this thing it's a, it looks badass I'll tell you with the black and gray it just looks mean man <laughs> it looks mean I love it so this is the IQ Pro bow sight I've always wanted to try one of these things they look so cool uh, they've got that retina lock thing so that when you look through something about it it's supposed to help you make sure that you're holding it straight I don't know exactly the technology but I gotta play with it and I'll find out and uh, once I do I'll do a little review on it let you guys know what I think but looks super cool and I've always wanted to try it so let's uh, hook it on up to the bow and see what we got hey also check out Sean's map reading challenge page where you'll find a lot of videos of me actually and a bunch of the other guys who participated in the map reading challenge it's always a good time on the map reading challenge and uh, you'll learn some lessons and uh, you know see some cool hunts so check that out check out Sean's Outdoor Adventures and uh, I'll touch base soon so I originally met Sean maybe five years ago now after I found his ad in the New York hunting regulation manual and I re found his website and YouTube page and then from there I actually also found his ministry page so if you didn't know Sean also has a ministry page where he talks about the Catholic religion and I would encourage you to check that out if you have any questions um, he's a great resource to have uh, because of in his involvement with the you know Catholic faith 
So anyway, uh, at the time I had just lost my dad and I just lost my good hunting buddy, Dan Kersnack. So they're up with the Lord now, but I was very confused at the time and the ministry page provided a lot of clarity for me. Uh, just helped me think clearly about things. So anyway, I'm just saying that I would encourage you to check it out because I found it helpful and I think you might as well. All right, I'm officially late for work. So let me just tell you the one quick story I was thinking about um, with Sean is that when I first saw his ad, I call it divine intervention because I'll tell you, I had never had such a clear feeling in my life that like, I have to meet that guy, that something about it, it was like, um, you know, that I, I knew somehow he was going to be part of my life or something, that there was going to be some interaction. I don't know what it was, but, I, you know, based on the fact that, like, like I said, I had a couple deaths uh, of people who were close to me, and then I, I found Sean, and it was it was a weird thing. It was, it was a weird thing, but it, like, hit me like lightning that I got to meet this guy. So, and sure enough, he was, uh, had the applications going on for the map reading challenge. So I jumped on that and I told my wife right away, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I'm going on this thing. <laughs> I gotta go on this, before I even knew, before I even sent in the application, I told my wife, I'm gonna meet this guy. Uh, I'm sending in this application. I, I know I'm gonna be selected. I got, and I didn't know anything about it at the time, but I knew that I was gonna meet him. So pretty cool that uh, things worked out and uh, he's a great friend, so. That's that little tidbit. All right, catch you guys later. Gotta get to work. <laughs>